Hello and welcome to this quick video on how to install a uh, short shifter linkage to your uh, Mito QV. So I've got a uh, full review and engineering explanation of the actual short shifter in the works. So uh, yeah, please subscribe for that uh, to be the first to see that. Um, yeah, the job itself is actually quite straightforward when you've got the correct tools and uh, you know a cheeky bit of uh, WD-40. So settle in and learn how to transform your car. I actually installed the short shifter linkage from 4H Tech, but uh, I think most Mito short shifters will have a similar sort of uh, install process. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is to take out the battery. So to do this, you'll need a 10 mil spanner to remove the battery connections, and then uh, you want to unbolt the battery strap as well. So once this is done, you want to lift out the battery. So now we've got the battery out of the way, we want to move the uh, battery tray to get some more access. Um, and yeah, now this is pretty straightforward, simple matter of undoing four bolts and lifting the tray out and then uh, yeah, unclipping some uh, battery lead connectors um, attached to the side. So now we've got a bit more access, um, you, can, you, you can see the, see the linkage quite clearly. Now, in some in some uh, installed videos, they'll ask you to take off the air hose as well. But uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't do that for mine. Uh, that I found there's plenty of room once you take uh, once you've taken out the battery battery tray. So, having said this, having said this, um, you now want to undo the top connector of the gear linkage. So mine was stuck on pretty tight. So I basically uh, doused it in a bit of WD-40. And then waited a couple of hours, and then um, yeah, this was the hardest bit to be honest. Used a pair of um, uh, sort of bed nose pliers and jammed it in between the you know the male and female ends, and then just you know wiggled it about, and uh, it did pop out eventually. Uh, just be persistent with this, really. Um, just keep trying, and yeah, WD40 is your friend. So once this um, this top section was free. Um, it was a case that now of using um, using a socket set to undo the um, the bolt which actually connects the shifter to the uh, gearbox itself. Um, so you want to be a bit careful here. So what I did was support the um, the arm of the shifter with another set of bent nose pliers um, to you know just avoid putting stress on the gearbox itself, and then um, yeah slowly unbolted unbolted the nut. Um, this might be a bit tight again. Mine's actually okay, but on some um, forums, um, I've heard I've heard it said that it'll, it's a bit tight. So yeah, again, WD40 that and just wait. Um, and yeah, access is actually quite difficult here. Um, so you want to have a ratchet sort of with a thin extension, because if you've got a too thick one, uh, you won't be able to get onto the um, onto the nut um, fully square square on, which will make it a bit harder. So once you've moved that bolt, um, you want to basically just get a flathead screwdriver in between um, the plate and the old linkage and just wiggle it around a bit, then that'll pop off. And uh, yeah, that's it. Your, uh, your old linkage is off. Now that's the hard bit done. Uh, the next bit's super simple. Um, it's getting you getting your shiny new one in, right? Very exciting. Um, now, yeah, it's just a matter of doing the reverse almost for installing the new shifter. Here's a quick comparison of what the OEM and the short shifter looks like. Um, yeah, you can see that there's a pretty large difference in dimensions, um, which yeah, which is sort of where 4H get their claimed 45% shorter throw. But I'll go more I'll into this more in my uh, engineering explanation of this, um, which com will come soon. So to install, uh, you want to first screw on the nut um, onto the gearbox side of the pet and to press the new shifter onto the shaft. Um, again, use a pair of pliers to support the shifter when tightening, just to avoid putting too much, uh, you know, force through the gearbox itself. Um, once tight, you want to push the female connection into the male end, um, which was the first step to we used to um, remove remove the um, shifter. So yeah, you'll basically know when it's in because it's you'll get a nice satisfying pop into place. Um, now the instructions did actually state that you need to place a pin in as well. However, um, 
yeah, I tried to do this for my install and it was super fiddly, so I couldn't actually get that in. Um, so I contacted the supplier and they said, uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't actually necessary. And it makes sense, to be fair, because uh, it's a nice press fit, so I don't see what the uh, pin's doing. So yeah, now that's it pretty much. The shifter is all installed. Quickly, you know, just go inside the car and make sure that the uh, that the shifter works as expected. Um, should glide smoothly into the gears. And once you're happy, yeah, just uh, re-bolt on the battery tray, strap up the battery, and um, yeah, that's that's it. Job done. Basically, go and enjoy your uh, incredible short shifter. As I said, um, I have a full review coming soon, so uh, please subscribe for that. But yeah, as a spoiler, it's it's genuinely amazing. Probably one of the best upgrades I've done to the vehicle so far. Um, so yeah, that's been it. Thanks a lot for watching, and um, yeah, drop a comment if you've got any um, any questions.